Yeah. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Uh, once again, we want to invite you to the offices of the Ladero Drugs Enforcement Agency. Uh, as you know, we are in a war status, we're in fighting uh, dealer of drugs in the country. And in recent times, we have heard positive news and we have seen dividend regarding the fight on drugs. And today is one of these days. So, uh, not to jump the quote, we would like for you to be part of this process and we will do the opportunity to be deputy for operation of, of the LDA in the person of Honorable Hassan Fadiga. We will speak to him. Uh, okay. so you have to ask, uh, uh, I just want to just, uh, today is a uh, memorable day. Uh, okay. This might be, this little drug you see here might be a little too significant in the eyes of two of you who will be looking at this, but it's very, very, very huge to learn about it. Because from this drug, I understand you could produce a lot of money for the future. Now, Kush, the issue of Kush is becoming a little bit um, little in the eyes. And so this and many more other drugs that were, that were being ordered were to replenish the supply of Kush that they had in the market prior to coming of this drug. And this government has been in the, the vanguard of going after interrupting distributor, the distribution of drugs. Uh, of the push and other dangerous substances. And so, from this, this intelligence I gather to this is something that I uh, basically produce this, this was effective intelligence. And uh, before five guys come up, I'd like to extend heartfelt appreciation to the uh, folks at the uh, Iron Gates. And the, and the court system in, in uh, what is that court to do? The court to grow up the court system. My friend, I've been very cooperative. Um, and because that's the window we decided to put a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, uh, agents been deployed in that era. So to produce this and to get to the lawyer, to, to get to the judge, to search for one in a very quick way, is something that we want to express to him. And Fadiga and his guys have been uh, very effective in going after this, this stuff, and things are get, getting much better. And so we allow Fadiga, this is your focus. Right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Um, today, Honor the leadership of Director A.B. Kumar who are in our new effective drug strategy. We are making gains in the fight against drugs. Um, we have changed our strategy and now we are more focused on the distributor, the trafficker, and our search and seizure strategy has also changed. And today we are pleased to present this plate of high quality marijuana that was used at the Iron Gate. And uh, this lady is Jenna Hatu Bangura. She's a 50 year old Serbian national who brought this into the country. She's Timini and Asian Abdullah uh, Kumar was the arresting officer to our own boss. Search strategy, we were able to find this drug and hopefully she's going to be prosecuted and held accountable. We continue to fight this drug and we encourage every citizen to remain vigilant, continue to support the drug enforcement agency effort. When you see something, say something, we'll, we'll keep your name anonymous and we'll continue to work in this effort. Uh, I will turn it over to Dark Tour to a little bit elaborate and we'll see anything. Right. That's exactly what you have to say. That basically, I think, I don't think, that's all. I mean, you, you guys did extremely well. And I, I think this is a result of the level of, of, of cooperation between the intelligent people and the 
Lord bless you. And this is what we actually want to see happening. And I'm very glad that we are moving to the upward trajectory regarding in our fight. Um, this little stuff you see, so when you mix the adequate chemical in it, give it enough push that can go for many. And uh, now well, the, the guys' stuff is going up. The push now is going to two hundred fifty million dollars for one hundred dollars to the uh, And so we going up. We'll be there, and I want to commend you for that. Uh, it, it is something that. I will continue this fight. Uh, the fact that we got a little bit of budgetary allotment, and uh, and, and and I'm sure we now can now say to say to the Liberian people that we are the president said we can change our strategy. The strategy is more intelligence driven now. We're not going for no more. And the guys in the ghettos, the ghetto fo folks, are people that we look up to, but they're not they're not they're not, they're not criminal, they're sick people. And, and I'm glad that the rehabilitation process is going to take its course so we can go out, organize these places and get the guys off the street so that our, our places are back to normal again. And I can show you with the level of arrangement we have in the LTA now, with uh, a little logistical support we get, I can assure you, the Liberian people that we are going to go one step from where we were, two steps, we do it gradually. And the fact like I said, you have to say something. You see something, say something so that we can go ahead uh, with this fight. And this is not just this is not just all of this blue sky. This is pure powerful intelligence that resulted into where we are. There are so many other classifications we've done around the country for these kind of situations because right now the guys are looking for means to replenish the supply. So we're taking fish and drops from all around the place. We deployed along the coastal coast line, we deployed in other places. Uh, we are going to go after them about any means necessary. Uh, thank you very much, Freddy uh, and the guys. Uh, and then to the guys from the uh, Iron Gate. Come on, I which guy on the more from And you and your guys, I want to say thank you. Uh, we, uh, we can't relax. Uh, this is the new DEA. This is not an old DEA, this is the new DEA. We arrest, we prosecute, we make sure we get a conviction. We don't just arrest, take the drugs, and the guys go, the, 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 the suspect goes, no. We arrest, and take, and that's the only way we can set up the terrorist principle in our country. And, and we have to prosecute by all means so that it serves as deterrence so they won't be the offender that will be coming. This will become a specific deterrence for this, for this lady. Uh, it should get off on a long story. Then there will be general deterrence for all other folks who are here that the Liberia government has gotten a new disposition, a new approach towards prejudice. And they will now be deterred to come over, and that's the only way we can make it more than one. Again, I'd like to say thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kelly Guy and the folks, and the folks at the Pine Gate. Uh, and, and we normally would be can say if the point if I ask you to tell them when I don't give you that one, I know it's said for money. We'll interview a few questions, yeah? Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, your institution, for your name and, and the institution. Right. Your My name is Matthias Lavini from Sky FM. I'm seeing 32 plates. Call these plates, right? Yeah. yeah one is plate. Yeah, What's the street value, sir? The street value for this, so what I would do with this, this is a high quality uh, marijuana. So what they do is they mix it with all kinds of common natural drugs, and the street value is about anywhere between fifteen to twenty thousand. So this one is mixed right now. No, this is not mixed, it's what they use it to you know, when it's made. The street value is that amount. So what happens? Twenty USD. I'm sorry, man, that's great. What happens to Madam Bangura? Is she going to be prosecuted? Going to be yeah, sent under, our, under our law, uh, section fourteen point eight five, eight five, and eight nine. She gonna be prosecuted as no available no session and she's gonna be prosecuted. Has that. she taken ownership of the substance or she denied? She took ownership. Okay. She admitted it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Masale is my name, and I also work for Sky Communications. Okay. Um, the public would like to know as to when these drugs were uh, arrested, and uh, Madame Bangura <laughs> from Sierra Leone. Uh, when did she get to, I mean, Liberia, 
you know, um, coming all the way from Bowater side to that of the Iron Gate. At 6 a.m. today, she was arrested. And uh, two sets and seizures she was arrested, and that's how it is. You form the job. 6 a.m. this morning. On the transportation from the Has this been her regular business that she does? Is she saying that she's a regular business? She's a regular business. She's a transporter. So tell you, say somebody give it over. I bet you dollar to a girl on the ocean. Well, for, for now, we're going to advise you. We better get you and stay over yeah. and practice. We're going to advise in a general to either people. We can't speak to her. Right? No, we cannot speak to her. Is she entitled to a lawyer? Yes. Yeah, sure. Her rights, sure. everything will be according to her. So, um, my name is Haji Masale, I come from Spoon. Um, with the level of your intelligence, uh, what can, what can you speak to? Uh, do you have the intelligence across the country to serve as, as, as a deterrent? And um, like you like you said, now push on the price of push on other jobs are going up. It is an effort by the LDA that causing the scarcity. Well, basically, uh, someone, uh, Chief, what will you, what will you deduce? Uh, it could be a hundred dollars the day we took the walk, and right after the day after we had a major boss, and then uh, after s several other uh, aggressive moves, then we come to we come to the scarcity that has involved in that. Of course, we see the level of fresh, aggressive posture we put up resulted into the escalation of the crime. But speaking about the intelligent folks, try to get this story. We we, we collaborated our 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 our, our, our intelligent conduct, and there are folks now all around the coastal land, the very interior, where most of them came first. Most of the guys ran off from the river into the coastal land. All right, but they didn't know that we were already a little one step ahead of them. So we called in the commanders and we briefed them, gave them pictures of guys, the notable guy we knew. So when they went, it wasn't a difficulty to arrest them and bring them and then <laughs> cut them right back. But then they have settled down. They've settled down now. They now realize that the specific deterrent that is established there now becoming a general deterrent for all of them. And then the guys are now coming back, shipping and coming back to us. Now, this is the result of all of the. This is like by any means necessary. This is the desperatism set into a certain extent. And eventually, it was there. So, when you got that thing is intelligent, um, you better got say, look, I mean, I, I thought it was a good as far as the such a seizure aspect of it. So, Dr. Yeah. Uh, um obviously, you are bringing a whole new dynamic to the administration of the LDEA. What uh, let's look at the update from your latest, you know, operation with the with the with the breaking news of you know the arrest of Japan, and the, the Labrin people let to know because they are watching you now. It, uh, these days, people just come in with jobs, and the next day they are free passing. Why assurance? Japan is still in jail, right? Japan is there, and where's the guy? What guy got from on the bad way? Uh, in my store, diesel. Diesel. All the guys we arrested, those are all half full dealers and pushers. And they arrested, and, and the good thing about it, and thank to George Willie, what's his name? George Willie? To Baco. Baco and Willie. Thank you, Baco and Willie. Yeah. Now, that's a no nonsense, George. That's my kind of George. That's the guy who look at criminals. He goes according to the law. He, 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 applied, he applies the, uh, the drug law to his letter. And, and he doesn't he doesn't cut corners for you. And, and so thanks to him that we have this situation. None of the guys will see the daylight and they will be prosecuted in according to the law. The rights will be provided. I've been to the court up and down with regards to guys asking for these guys to be admitted in in, in, in bail. And we've gone through the laws and look at all of the nuances and everything. And they basically found themselves sitting down behind the bar in the center of prison and the jail. I will always get assured that I'm going to do that. We've been asking for support. I don't know how much money they've given us yet, but we still operate it. You know? We don't know yet, right? No. We don't know how much they've been allotted to us 
for the intelligent. Intelligent actually is the you know, we have we have programs, just so you know. We have besides the program of interrupting the supplier and the distributor and ensuring that we go after guys who are potential drug dealers or who are old drug dealers. The good thing about it, the old drug dealers are now feeding off. Most of the guys fled. Uh, and then the, the guys that you've seen in the ghettos, you saw Federica videos. He's gone in there, he felt them, he's done a lot of stuff to them. That is to give them the leverage so we can have the welcome institution into the ghettos, into the prison. But we have the strong opinion that a, a, a robust rehabilitation process has to start. So as to get the brothers and sisters, and not even brothers and sisters, grandma and grandpa, on the street there, get them out into rehabilitation. So once they find them, luckily for us, we're getting a lot of citizens coming up. The church, the church group came yesterday and, uh, and brought in a, a 60 bedroom house in the Kakata area that they asked and gave it to the GA. Because my rehabilitation is part of our sanctuary, sanctuary yeah, yeah, yeah. So, So we are going to take that and go and packaging them and putting a copy letter on it. We're taking it to the Ministry of Health, the presidential tax work we go. Uh, the Ministry of Health is actually heading that. Then we also go to our boss at the Ministry of Justice so that we can take that leadership. So that 60 bedroom house, that's about the five, five, take a lot of the guys out on the street. The good thing about it, the good news is that we can get the guys because it is voluntary, total voluntary situation. We have. We're not going to force you to go to, to go to rehab. Mm -hmm. But once you are caught with drugs, you are a criminal based upon the law. Once you are a criminal, we have to prosecute you. However, because we know you have also got some psychological issues, we will put it to you to say, look, we put you to jail. The law says we should put you to jail. The other side of it, based upon the president's mandate also, to help these sick brothers and sisters in the street. You want to go to rehab, we give them another appeal. And, and, that, and the problem with this thing, the men are suffering and others. The problem with having those things, most of the guys got dual sickness. Thank you, Isaac. Um, dual diagnosis, but co occurring disorders. Co occurring disorders. So, it's what it is is the mental health component and the job addiction component. And those two things are dual diagnosis, so you have to treat both of them simultaneously in order to use it. So, you know, what we have discovered, especially in the ghetto, the general within in uh, Zimbabwe and those of those areas. Most of the guys have full current symptoms. So, uh, taking into rehab is a challenge. Yes. Tell me, I'm crazy. 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 i am crazy i Similar psychology to actually go into the process. So, and and but for us, we want to establish the rehab centers that all around the place. We give them actually the, the, the lessons and the go ahead and do it. But we're now going to tell our people to go now, find out if you don't have a psychology to actually diagnose these people, to look at them, and we're going to have serious problems with getting people actually opening the door to other ones. Yeah. When I went to the health worker at the beginning, mm -hmm. he's one of the psychiatrists we have here. So the shock that we have here, yeah. we have here and he's going to be working with us, with, with us and Good. working with the health ministry, to so the health ministry to, to help us in the rehab. But we, there's program in place. So before you go in, we are not going to jump in here. We want to conduct psychosocial interview to know where you are before we place you into the, the rehab facility. That is another component. We will be collaborating with the health ministry to formulate. So um, it's in the top line. We just waiting for the DG said the rehabilitation facility. The good news is most of these guys that we have been to actually they genuinely want to go to rehab. Most of them have not seen anyone in the ghetto or in the places that we have visited. It's the last question, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 okay. Okay. So it's the last one. My name is Arthur from Fabric. Mm -hmm. Now that you have changed your strategy, how is the level of support and collaboration we are getting 
from the community dwellers, especially communities that host these ghettos in rural parts of Liberia. Definitely, the support, especially with respect to social media, it has been huge. A lot of people are proud of our new approach, and the approach is simple. When we catch a drug dealer, we're going to hold you accountable. The use of will work for you. We use discretion in our approach to dealing with you. Under the law, possession is a crime. Using is also a crime. But we're going to use discretion in dealing with, especially the use of. We're not going to take them their life anymore. There won't be any prison in the place that will go. These guys, they are so much. Drug is the killer in this country, so we can lock everybody up. So, what we're going to be doing, we'll be working with the health ministry, the general ministry, the youth and sport, and this, the community as a whole. The community part in this is to tell us. We have had a lot of community people coming to us, showing us where the ghettos are in the community, pleading with us for all the way there, pleading with us for all to provide support for the, those disadvantaged youth. So um, it's working in, we are very glad that we have resorted to empathizing with them rather than beating them, just waiting, getting them off. So it, it has been positive Thank for you. the most part. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. On behalf of the leadership of the LDA, we appreciate your presence, we will tell you thank you, and we are at your disposal and we will ensure transparency. Thank you. Thank you. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining us today. Television live here at the headquarters of the of the Life Man Trust, the first one, AJC. The full name of the Life Man Before we take leave of you, we have to uh, turn the mic over to my colleague, uh, Matthias Labini. So, Matthias, welcome. Okay. Asali, look at it. Look at this, this is very, it's a very huge one. I remember the last time we checked, there was a, there was a huge catch somewhere around the same time. Now, coming to this environment where we've seen 32 clips and with a 50 year old woman, the Drug Enforcement Agency has implored a lot of you know, measures in ensuring that these you know, situations occur. We just hope that the community, like they said, will continue to give them the support. The government can increase the budgetary support as well. Uh, drug is a killer, you know, like everyone in this but this is a, it's a fast killer like, like many, many other diseases so we just hope that they can continue to get the support and we the media will continue to follow uh, the transparency we are demonstrating is something unmatched that we've not seen over time uh, yeah, letters have been brought it's also unmatched this is not someone it's just intellectually giving the part of the back of the money of the, 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 the administration currently we just hope that they can continue to do a very good job to ensure that uh, we can clear this menace out of our society yeah, um, I was about to ask my last question concerning they have been confiscating uh, drugs, you know, since the onset of the uh, administration. You know, I don't know what have they done with it, whether they have brained them or they are still keeping them. Uh, later on, they will be able to brain them or to dispose it for the Liberian people to see. Well, I was not giving the chance to ask the director, uh, Honorable Ibrahim Kroma. So well, I, you know, Masale, one thing I say, I can say is that I, I, I'm not going to be responding for the Drug Enforcement Agency, but I think that the way it's done is that most times these things are kept for a certain quantity, to get a certain quantity, so that they can have a mass burning ceremony in a way that people will kind of witness it. But let's hope and see next time when the call of press comes, we can ask that question. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Okay, okay. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching Sky Television Live here at the headquarters of the Drugs Enforcement. Agency in um, Fiamma, Monrovia, Liberia. Thank you so much.